Hey everyone, this is Lomi, and today I thought I'd share a face up I recently finished a commission to paint a modified Switch Holy Shaoshu. That's not how I expected that sculpt name to be pronounced either. Anyway, the doll's owner sent him to me to have modifications color matched, so the changes to the lip and nose have already been airbrushed, and I'm doing the first layer of gouache paint for the eye creases, eyebrows, and lashes. For these fine lines, I'm using a Camlin Pro 100-0 brush and Arteza gouache in a custom mixed shade of brown. This sculpt has some pretty deep eyelid creases, so I'll have to touch those up later. But since this is a commission, each layer of the face-up gets sent to the doll's owner for approval anyway. The request was for the doll to have a slightly happier expression than what the doll naturally has, with one brow raised, and that's one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me with the face-up because I don't have to worry about getting the brows to match perfectly. So that part ended up being fun and simple. The owner requested that I move the dark line of the lid crease higher, so once I do that, it's onto the second layer, which is the first layer of pastels. I'm using my low Cornell pastels for this, adding some peach tones around the eye sockets, the nose, mouth, jaw, and cheeks to begin contouring the face. The eyelids get blushed with a custom mix of peach and gray tones, and a lot of the blushing around the eyes and nose is accented with a custom blend of pinks. When I mix pastels, I prefer to mix the powder on paper first, layering the pastels over each other on the paper, and then using my brush to rub it together and make a smooth blend of color. This way I get an idea of what the color looks like before it goes onto the doll. The color of resin does affect how it looks in the end, but I find it's much faster to do most of my problem solving for color blends on paper instead of trying to guess at how they'll look once I layer them individually on the doll. Once the first layer of blushing is approved, I work on building up colors in a second layer. This is where I work on nuances of color, like adding hints of purple and blue around the eyes, different shades of brown in the brows, and work on bringing out the contouring of the face. Often when I first put a color of pastels on, it looks streaky or blotchy, 
but it always evens out as I blend. The color of the lips gets built up through multiple layers using mixes of pink, purple, peach, and a little bit of gray to keep it from getting too saturated. The shape of this doll's modified mouth is really unique, and it's fun to add more texture to it as I go. Once me and the owner are both satisfied with the pastel layers, I add some liner to the upper lids with watercolor pencil, and use watercolor pencil to start adding texture to the lips as well. I like the creamy texture of my Arteza watercolor pencils for this because they blend smoothly, and they don't tend to leave as gritty of lines as other watercolor pencils I've used, which means it takes fewer layers to get nice, smooth lines as an end result. After the owner is satisfied with everything, I apply white glue to the eyelids and insert eyelashes. A few hairs don't want to lay nicely, but I can add glue on top of them to make them stick where they're supposed to go. After the glue has had a full 24 hours to dry, it'll be completely invisible and smooth. The final step for this face up is adding gloss to the lips, and then the doll will be left to dry for a full day before he gets his face protector and bubble wrap and finally heads home. It's always neat to help people bring their characters to life, so hopefully once he arrives, his owner will really enjoy having him put together, and will like this overall end result. That's all for today, though. Thanks for watching. Bye. I have been saying that so wrong.